Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about how we can use FTTH view IP or voice calling using desktop app like Zoiper or in Android phone using soft phone app such as Zoiper or GANstream web. So first I would like to show you that uh, here we are I am using a Cyrotec 20 and uh, the software version or the firmware version of the 20 is this one. So I have faced a lot of problem while using other version of firmware. Uh, so this is a very important issue and everyone should make ensure that this one is the uh, software version or firmware version of your 20 or the 20 you are using. First we will create <coughs> a WAN connection for, for voice. Here I am using 1831 VLAN. It is a specific BSNL VLAN for DHCP voice setting. So uh, how we can do it is that we will select the add new connection here then the mode should be root the IP protocol mode should be IPv4 and the DHCP option should be selected then the NAT it will remain same as, as selected then we will select enable VLAN and in the VLAN ID we will give 1831 the rest of the option will remain as it is uh, the request DNS will be selected that means it will ask or the connect or when connection will ask DNS IP from the BSNL server the service mode will be voice internet this option using this option actually I have successfully made call using soft phone so this uh, mode uh, worked for me and uh, uh, make sure that you do not select all these options remain this as not selected you don't select these options then save apply option uh, bottom have to be clicked and if you click this one this will create connection of this type this connection will be created after that go to the network and then a router option in the router option you select the static root option from the left side and here you add a static root how you can add I am showing you here you have to give zero this IP subnet mask will be 255.255.255 sorry this will be 255.0.0.0 and gateway will be the gateway from where using the gateway this one this gateway you use you collect uh, this information from the status and then WAN connection into here you find the voice internet connection which I have actually this one is the voice WAN connection which I have created earlier now it is connected and it is showing the default gateway primary DNS secondary DNS from here you collect this gateway IP it is 10.138.84.1 so now go to the uh, network then router then static route here you select 10.0.0.0 .0 .0 .0. 
uh, in the subnet mask you gave 255.0.0.0 and the gateway that is 10.138.84.1 then metric 1 and then select the interface voice interface and then click add if you click add this line will be created so what what does it mean is that uh, uh, means creating this static route you are enabling all the packet with the ip 10 first octet is 10 and rest octet whatever it may be it will go through this gateway and use this interface using the static root we are specifying that information whatever packet comes with the 10 as a first octet it will go through this gateway and will, in, will use this interface so after after completing this thing we have to download a app name Zoifer for calling from desktop or your laptop uh, Zoifer 5 is the current recent version for uh, if it is your uh, you are using Windows operating system download this one uh, you use the free version and download this one it is going to start I think yes it has started so let it be finished set up the Zyper app. In the meantime, uh, whatever what you can do is that uh, you can also um, set up the normal VoIP connect connection using uh, the ONT where you can use your analog telephone set. For that, you have to go to the application, then VoIP, then you have to set up you have to give this IP into this SIP register address, SIP register address second time, primary proxy and secondary proxy. These port informations are already available by default. Tick all these boxes and give the account number which is which will be provided by uh, BSN so this information will be provided by BSNL but rest of this information you have to put uh, to set up the view IP connection once it is correctly set up you can go to the status option and then view IP information you can see that it is registered uh, uh, a normal question arises whether uh, simultaneously two phone can work means the analog phone and the soft phone can work yes it is I, it is working uh, I have used that uh, both the analog phone and the soft phone are working simultaneously so now that the download is completed so I'll go to the download uh, option whatever where it is downloaded let it start getting installed uh, my version is 64 version so I have selected this one if your version is 32 then you can select that 
So it, uh, the installation is finished. Now the Zoiper app started. Okay. So continue as free user. If it does not start, you can double click this icon uh, in your desktop, and it, it should start if it is installed correctly. So continue as free user. Then uh, this one here, you have to, as you can see here, it is written username or login. So you give your username. If I password is. In my case, it is a confidential uh, This one, uh, whatever the information you are having, you put that one. Then you the login option. Here you have to give the swap switch IP of uh, whatever you have got from BSNL. Uh, in my case, it is 10.187.12, and the port is. 5060. So this information you can get from uh, your UNT here. You go to your application and in VIP here you can get the port number and the same IP as you can see SIP register IP I am using here. In most of the cases this is going to be same in the West Bengal region. Uh, but uh, in the South region some places it is uh, in place of two you can use seven here. So here in West Bengal it is 2 so I will press the next this one option is uh, optional you can skip this one to skip as you can see the UDP is found uh, the uh, voice calling using the soft phone is use the SI uh, UDP internet protocol so this this one has been found that means your con uh, connection and whatever credential you have given to set up the Zoiper is correct press next uh, you can skip this one this one uh, the previous uh, skill is to use is to test actually the microphone and the speaker so you can skip that one uh, as you can see this this is a green tick here so that means your smartphone has been registered now you click this one and you can call from here so whatever number you want to dial you can dial this one and press this dial key to complete the call so this is how you can configure the uh, Zoiper Windows app and you can make call using the using your FTK UI. So uh, this is all uh, uh, in, the, in the next part. I'm I'll show you how you can set up this soft phone using uh, a mobile Android app such as Grandstream Web. So uh, goodbye for now. Uh, in the second part I will update how can you set up the soft phone using Android app thank you